So if this is just a summary of what uh, I presented yesterday. So the main objective of the project is to provide easy and accessible tools for uh, processing and analysis of catalysis data. We started with uh, uh, tools for X-ray absorption spectroscopy. Um, we look at the tools that most uh, people use currently and we try several experiments for a speed, a speed of the processing from raw data to uh, normalization uh, to fast thinking. And we try to give with the set of operando data, which it was relatively large. Um, we were able to see uh, significant improvements in processing times from the time that uh, an experimenter using manual tools can take days. Oh, sorry. To um, uh, some uh, hours, hours in processing, which is really an advantage. As, as we said, uh, we are surprised that sometimes uh, they, there is like a embargo period for the data, like the, the, when you are at the main line, they say, we'll keep it private for three years. After three years, we make it public. But sometimes we see that the scientists take even four or five years to analyze the whole data because sometimes they don't have the resources, they don't have the people, or they don't have the, 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 the knowledge around to do all the work with the data. So I, I am also in charge of cataloging the data sets for the UK Catalysis Hub. And I see sometimes that new publications appear from experiments that were uh, realized uh, two or three years ago for uh, so it's normal, but that's the situation. So apart from speeding up the processing, is is also needed for that because it's 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 really really a clear um, bottleneck. This uh, part of the research, when uh, the, 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 once you obtain the data, what do you do with these uh, large quantities of data? And as part of the TSDI, which is the Physical Science Data Infrastructure uh, Twin Project to NFDI, but uh, in the UK, we started uh, trying to expand the coverage of this uh, tool. So, as I said, the first experiment uh, only focused on going from raw data to exact fitting. Uh, but in the middle, there is many analysis that can be done to the same data sets. So, sales analysis, linear combination fitting, and so on. So, we, all, we, we were thinking of, of, and also how to make it more accessible so that a larger number of people can rapidly learn, use the tool, and apply it. So, Galaxy offers this. This is a workflow engine, the, it's a workflow management, the scientific workflow management engine. You create the tools, which is, implies packaging to uh, scripts in a certain way, and then you make them public, and the uh, 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 users of Galaxy can come and uh, uh, pick and choose which tools they want to use in their experiments, incorporate these tools, and build uh, custom workflows. You can also share the workflows with other people. So if a research group cre uh, comes together to work in Galaxy, they can uh, start uh, sharing workflows between them, like saying, OK, uh, 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 if some workflow is successful or they, they get the, the parameters right, that's, that can be shared. So they, they can also be exported. For instance, if you find out that the running the Galaxy workflow is too slow, you can create a common workflow language export 
and run it in other platforms. For instance, uh, using Nextflow, you can run a, on an HPC cluster, or you can uh, maybe use Nine or other tools. And another very important benefit, which is uh, in line with the topic of this conference, it creates a package of the run. And, the, and this package of the run contains the metadata, the data, the workflow itself, and all the parameters used during the run. So effectively, you get the interoperability and the reusability of FERF. So the only thing needed is just uh, uh, publish it somewhere, get the DOI and cite it on your paper. And then you, got, uh, you, have, you have the FERF data object out of the box. We are also thinking that this type of tools are uh, useful for more than just Texas. So, and the Catalysis Hub has access to the large scale facilities in the UK. So, apart from Diamond, we, we also uh, have access to ISIS, to the Central Laser Facility. So, we are also thinking already on expanding these tools, for instance, for uh, neutron spectroscopy, for Raman, for PDF. And finally, we, we also would like to see future uh, paths for collaboration. We are already been approached for, by, with, for, by some of your colleagues who are interested maybe in driving the tools or in uh, further uh, uh, experimenting with them. Uh, the Galaxy instance is not running uh, open yet. But uh, we can share uh, the Jupyter notebooks or, or the, and, the, and the scripts that also facilitate some of these uh, processing. Thank and you. There is, Thank yes. you so much, Abraham, okay. for your presentation. That's all. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Gracias. Is there any question? I have a question. So, how is your work related to the NFDI uh, consortium Daphna? Because you also work with synchrotron uh, data as, as far as I know. Is there any collaboration there? Or? Well, they, because we are in the field, because we are in the PSDI, they, they, they encourage us to, to come uh, to this conference because they know that. Uh, you already have a very advanced uh, models, for instance, for uh, classification of data. So the, we are interested also in maybe creating, uh, enriching the packages with uh, metadata about the sample, about the experiment itself. So it, it, it's very, uh, I, I think we are, we, and we don't like the idea of starting from zero and trying to rebuild what you have already done. So that's my, our interest is that as well. So learning from you, because uh, uh, this um, effort, the PSDI is only two years old and it's mostly been uh, not really well structured. Well, it, we started as a pilot program and then we got the funding for the uh, actual project, so that's that's uh, maybe the maybe relation. some background information would help. So Abraham is here from the UK. He works for the PSDI, that is the Physical Science Infrastructure. So a similar project from the UK, trying to you know, let's say the UK in NFI, okay. mm -hmm. and they are just starting. That's why he is searching for collaboration. So Daphne is a very good contact point. They yes. are a similar NFDI, but really for uh, the data that you wanted to address. Yes, yes, yes. I, 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 I should have uh, Some of our colleagues already work with Daphne as well. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so sorry, we don't have any more uh, time for questions no, for you, thing. but Abraham is here, and if you want to talk to him, please. Yeah, there is a poster him. there. There is also a poster there. So.